Hey guys, Penny here, and today we are going to talk about the 7 day bean challenge baby solves all your problems. As you see right here, right here in the search bar. No, no nobody needs you Chrome. 7 day vegan challenge. The odd, one, the odd one is out, James from the Odd One Is Out comic did it. So did Jaden from Jaden Animations, and it's Alex Clark did it as well. And a bunch of other people, like... Tony V. Toons. I don't remember if Tony V. Toons did it or not. Hola, Avocado did one. Vegans caused all my problems. Ralph. Ralph from the 7 Day Vegan Challenge. Oh, Ralph created the 7 Day Vegan Challenge. He is from... Infinite waters, diving deep. I, I I don't remember how he said it. I have only watched like one of his videos, but but he he his voice is so relaxing. Now it's like infinite waters, diving deep. It's really cool. And he and. I don't know if I would do it because I loaf meat and non and animal products too much. Just saying, I just had a bag of gummy worms. So if you don't know, I might ruin gummy worms for you, but. I might ruin gummy worms, but they have gelatin from cow bones. They're delicious. I don't really care. And my friend Carmen got a new cat. Yeah, Carmen got a new cat. So, um, why did I mention that? We're talking about the seven day vegan challenge and we're also talking about enslaving domestic domesticated animals. Like that's nice. James is live right now. I really want to watch, but I'm recording. Captain Teddy Bear, just so you guys know, I don't have a script for this, so and I'm just pointing out random channels that did the seven day vegan challenge. The vegan animator did one. What 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 should I talk about now? Oh yeah, my friend Nutella eating squid. Squid. Guess 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 what she's doing. Why do you think I'm talking about this today? She's doing the seven day vegan challenge. Baby solves all your problems, and she's like, no, it's causing all of my problems. And she's like, lol, nope, but she's doing it because she wants to. And she, she, she's really kind of, uh, she doesn't want to be mad, but she's like, uh, like, what do I do now? I personally am not going to do the seven day vegan challenge, baby. Solves all your problems because I could never go vegan. I love meat and animal products too much. I don't even like dairy. I barely like dairy. <laughs> I'm lactose intolerant too, so that has some help, some reason. So I barely drink milk anyway, so meh. And I love eggs and meat, because meat is like half of my diet, just like meat. <laughs> and then you just, in and like ice cream, like it's Alex Clark, like hi. Uh, like ice cream, ice cream is my favorite. I know you guys are probably going to say, but there's vegan ice cream. I don't feel like it. Like, it's the real, it tastes a lot like the real thing. I don't feel like it. This video is probably going to get a bunch of hate from some angry vegans. Please, angry vegans, don't dislike this video. Because I'm going to say some amazing stuff about you guys in a second. Just, just, just let me go to PETA. And, like, I actually like the accidentally vegan list is actually pretty large. 
when I showed my friend of this, I was like, I kind of said, like, what? How is this food vegan? The one, the one from PETA, because PETA, PETA is the one that's like, <laughs> Yes, it's called the accidentally vegan food. Because when I read the article, it was like, it wasn't advertised as a vegan food. Like it says right here. Did you know that standard grocery stores carry items that are accidentally vegan? Meaning they are not advertised as vegan foods, but are safe for the vegan lifestyle. Like I Cracker Jacks. Wheat Thins. Heinz Ketchup. Oh, yeah, she started asking me about ketchup at lunch. I'm just texting Squid saying Heinz ketchup is vegan. I made a typo and I wrote is id. Vegetable soup. What do you expect? No, there's there's total bisquick. How uh, uh, bisquick? Are you are you, are you sure? Uh, oh, those those cookies are good. And I'm back, guys. Sorry for that commotion. I want to see the actual list, because... I mean, I've already read the actual list, but I'll leave links to all of the channels and the stuff and the stuff that I saw down below, because, um... Because, like, I was actually pretty surprised. Back in the day, back in my day, being vegan meant you were picky. <laughs> please, please don't yell at me, angry vegans. Let's start out with breakfast. Ra bra <laughs> Barbara's, <laughs> Barbara's brown rice crisps. Barbara's cinnamon puffins. Oh my gosh, that's animal abuse. Like, oh my gosh, animal abuse. They're they're abusing puffins. Barbara's organic. How many? How many stuff from Barbara? Okay, I'm gonna skip down that Barbara line. Go to it. Captain Crunch, peanut butter crunch, Cascadian Farm organic of berry vanilla puffs. I'm gonna I'm gonna list. I'm gonna point out the stuff that I'm surprised at. Nature Valley maple brown sugar crunchy granola bars. Life original, Kellogg's mini wheats. And you want to know what surprised me even more? Th those didn't really surprise me because, like, Nesquik. Nesquik surprised me because Nesquik isn't really a drink. But it's like, but you put it into milk. And, but you can put it into, like, non-dairy milk. I like soy milk. Soy milk is good. Airheads taffy. I don't... <laughs> Cinnamon. Chicka sticks. Nobody likes chicka sticks. I don't like chicka sticks. Comment down below if you like chicka sticks. Barbecue flavored. That's sweet and spicy chili. Cracker Jacks. Kettle brand popcorn because it's maple bacon. Kettle brand potato chips, bar backyard barbecue, maple bacon, pepperoni, red curry, roasted garlic, spicy Thai. <sighs> Lay's potato chips, crunch, barbecue, again, deli style. Everything Mediter Mediterranean. 
Mar Nobody likes Mary Janes. Mary Janes are awful. <laughs> I don't like Mary Janes. I personally think they're awful. Cracked pepper. That doesn't surprise me at all. Th those are like the most vegan chips ever. Ever. Honey, honey isn't even. Honey, 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 honey is vegan. Honey is not vegan, just by the way. Barbecue. P exotic potato. My favorite was exotic potato. Spicy buffalo. Let's see how many condiments have meat in them. Are meat flavored? Betty Crocker bacon bits. Pasta sauces. How are you vegan if you have meat in them? Chinese chicken salad dressing. I'm just searching. Like vegans, angry vegans. Tell me tell me if any of this stuff is actually vegan. And if this is what you eat. Sloppy Joe sauces. Let me let me look wait, I'll be back in a second. With Hunt's Manwich sloppy Joe sauces. See if they're actually vegan and look in the ingredients. Manwich sloppy joe sauces. Sloppy joes are an American family meal dating back to the 1930s. They are compressed of ground beef, tomato sauce, ground beef, tomato sauce, tomato sauce is vegan, and seasoning all inside a hamburger bun, also not vegan. But in the 1930s, people weren't complaining. I'm sorry, angry vegans. <laughs> Please don't get mad at me, angry vegans, and don't unsubscribe because I need y'all. <laughs> in this era of minimum preparation at the kitchen, meh. a sandwich is a, is a sandwich, but a manwich is a meal. Like, what? What? What is? What does that have to do with anything? At 40. <laughs> the man which brand must be having a midnight crisis. I'm gonna look at the ingredient list now. Is I'm gonna search up is high fructose corn syrup vegan? What is that high exactly in what exactly is High fructose corn syrup. Is it considered vegan? This person says, probably a stupid question, but my older sister is vegan and she avoids products with high fructose corn syrup. So I'm just wondering what it is exactly. I'm just searching this up because I'm bored and I don't know what else to do. Because, like I said, I don't need a script. This person only had only gives her son one type of juice because she won't let it she won't let him be a child anymore. Hey, I'm just going to stop here, guys. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment down below, and subscribe if you aren't already. Thank you guys so, so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. But I'm still going to talk for a bit more because I'm bored. I'm, I'm just going to look in the ingredients. Nope. <laughs> And it's mostly com and the tomato puree is mostly composed of water. And sweetener is in the second position. Okay, got bye guys. Bye guys.